21-year-old Emmanuel Ababrese is the winner of the prestigious Quest Bridge and Gates Millennium Scholarships. Now, he graduated from Freedom High School in Woodbridge and now attends Washington and Lee University. But he's dedicated his life to giving back to children worldwide. Doing so makes him this week's Harris's hero. All right, load them up. With lots of helping hands, these 50 computers and printers are loaded up to begin a journey across the world. You can put the white boxes on the side. Freedom High School students refurbish them through a program called Virginia Star. Basically, we just like um, rebuild the whole computer, and then like, so now he's like brand new. And now the school is donating them to former student Emmanuel Ababrize. He's going to ship them off to a small village school in Ghana. That's where he grew up. He volunteers at the school every summer, and he says it desperately needs help. The school here is really nice, and it's a conducive learning environment versus there, where even though the students want to learn, the environment sometimes doesn't allow them to. Abra Breze says the school is located in an unsafe environment with very limited resources, and these computers will make a major difference for the students. First of all, it will give them a nice place to expand their learning. I'm so proud of you, so proud. Principal Inez Bryant applauds Ababrize's dedication and she welcomes him back to freedom regularly. I want my, form, my other students to be able to follow him as a leader. Well, I don't know what you're thinking about right now. I don't know what your future goals are, but I definitely want you to be thinking about college. He speaks with current students about the importance of attending college and giving back to the community. And though he's not sure exactly where his journey is headed, he's confident that he's found his calling, helping children. Yes, <laughs> I'd say so, yes. When the computers arrive at the school in Ghana in April, Ambabrese says that it'll be a big surprise for the students and the teachers there. And he also says that he plans to return there this summer and to teach the children and help build a security fence for them. Allison. Good.